You can't be found until you find it. Until you are operating not only in purpose individually, until you are okay and comfortable in your own skin, the God-ordained husband that is for you will not recognize you. And just briefly, what I want to disclose is a portion of a dream. I'm saying a portion of the dream because there's still factors in the dream that I'm not exactly clear on and because I have been a notorious procrastinator. It's been interesting trying to get all this stuff together. So, in this dream, it was a rehearsal dinner, and I was the bride. You know how I knew I was the bride? Because I was announcing, I am the bride. I was introducing myself as the bride. Weird thing is, in that dream, um, the gentleman that I understood in the dream to be my husband, he was all decked out in military garb, like, maybe it was naval. I'm not really sure about all the armed forces uh, attire and um, no shade. I just I don't know that, but it was Navy. Well, I guess it was Navy. <laughs> it was or Marines, maybe. Anyway, he was ready to fight. Okay. However, I was trying to get his attention, and I was like, "I'm the bride. I'm the bride. I'm the bride." And I was introducing myself as as the as the bride, and it was weird because I knew that this was my husband, and this is probably a word for those ladies who feel deep down in their heart and their stomach and everywhere else that this is the man that God has made just for you. Now, I thought that about four years for one dude, and I was wrong, so wrong. Oh, my God. However, God was warning me through the process. So here's where I say eat the meat and spit out the bone. God might be warning you in the process. There is a reason that that gentleman doesn't recognize you or doesn't appreciate all of you it's because you haven't taken the time to do the same you have to do for you before you can expect someone else to do for you and i don't mean that in in that you have to be this independent woman that's doing it all for yourself because that's one thing that god has shown me specifically that's been my my crutch is that i can do it myself so i don't need a man and because of all of the relational books and things like that that I've I've read of, almost as if those books have programmed women into believing that that's not God's design, that the design was for everyone to be married. Because it's, the Bible says it's not good for man to be alone. And when it was referencing man in that portion of the Bible, it's talking about mankind. And that means, you know, with a partnership. However, he has his permissive will and uh, his perfect will. Permissive will means he'll allow you to do it. It's a plan B, if you will. He already knows what you're going to do. He wants the best for you. But if you don't choose the best for you, then that's on you. And a lot of times we try to blame God on our mistakes. For instance, I've been married twice. So God, I said three times was a charm. That's it. You know, your God, God ordained husband for the ladies. Obviously, this is for the ladies for this portion of it. Um, won't be able to recognize you until you recognize you. That you have to fully embrace your, your insecurities. You're, you're not going to be fixed. And this is another thing that God has been dealing with me. And I know that I'm going to have to unpack all of this. Because like I said, he's been giving me dream after dream after dream after dream after dream. And I'm like, God, I can't even write it all down. And it's because I am required to do these on a regular basis. And I'm like, God, my own insecurity of revealing my truth. Because I'm like, God, can this man handle the weight of who I am? Well, I've got to be able to handle the weight of who I am. I've got to be able to understand that, yes, my mother had borderline personality disorder. Yes. I have been a magnet for people struggling with all kinds of toxic disorders. And I realized that that's me. God groomed me for this type of purpose. This, this purpose. <laughs> Gosh, wow. Yeah, interesting. I guess I can't see it hadn't quite kicked in. Oh, wow. Okay, I might edit that out. I may not. But anyway, I just want you to know for the ladies. You got to know yourself before you can expect to receive properly 
the man of God that he has for you. And in the dream, I'll say, I was conscious that this was my husband, but that I did not recognize him. And what God is putting on my heart right now, even, is that the reason that we don't recognize, I didn't recognize him because it's not going to be like it was before. That God is doing a new thing. Um, if someone broke your heart, it was so that God could put you back together. Um, the other thing is, was when I was actually in that rehearsal dinner or reception hall at one point I was standing outside and I knew it was like at the edge of the building but it was just a clear pool and what I recall is there was a large wedding cake display and I knew in this dream that the top of that cake was just styrofoam and the only uh, part of the cake that was real was the last layer and this is a word that God wanted me to give you and to myself some of you have been married multiple times you have this longing for a partnership but you feel like you don't measure up because you thought that you did everything you were supposed to do the last time but God is showing that all of these marriages, and there are several kingdom marriages that are going to come up very quickly, but for, particularly for those ladies who have experienced trauma, God has prepared your husband in a manner to know and to, to, to be that compassionate foundation that you need. You have to be honest. You have to be open. And that's the only way that you are going to be completely healed in your union even in your courtship because this gentleman is going to respect you he's going to respect you as God's daughter because he is God's son and just as much as God loves him he loves you he understands that you are a responsibility and a privilege so when these couples they were jumping into the pool together. What God showed me is that they were grabbing the top of the cake. All of these couples, they were, it, it was just probably, it was just a bunch of couples. I know it was like, it just kept happening. A lot of couples were jumping in the pools and they were arm in arm or hand in hand together when they jumped in. But two things happened. There were people that were alone. They were not with their partners regardless. Um, or the uh, original partners that they jumped into the pool with. So they were not with their partners, and some of them were with partners of other people, basically. Now, this is not permission to commit adultery. However, what God has shown me is that he's going to break up to make up. And some of you... It's not that, you know, you probably have met your husband. He may have shown you this person, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have permission to go forward. Um, and case in point, he showed me a video of a couple who and how God brought them together. And I may actually link that um, in the description because the couple, he, the guy was engaged to someone else when they met it's like he had a decision to make so in a lot of situations we have joined ourselves the bible says let not man put asunder what god has joined together a lot of the stuff god didn't put together my last marriages god did not put together but it was his permitted will he gives you free will that's that's how much he loves us he gives you free will and a scripture is coming to mind numbers 30 because i remember when god brought that that scripture to me it was right before i needed to divorce my husband it was riddled with guilt and shame um even though i knew that we had problem after problem after problem let me honest with you i didn't even like my ex-husband i didn't like him as a person he wasn't my friend he wasn't kind and these are the things that God wants you to understand about yourself. You need to 
get to a point and release everything to him flaws and all because God waits so you know want you to understand it's not too late it's to your benefit to know you so we talk about how Adam was asleep while Eve was formed it does not tell you how long God took to form Eve however what we have to do is trust God to lead us and to be not so married to the idea of the one that we take the time to examine ourselves and be the one. That we love ourselves the way that God loves us. That we see ourselves the way that God sees us. And it's a struggle. What I've realized is that deliverance is a process. It is not a one-size-fits-all, nor is it a one-stop shop. It is a lifelong process. And in order to stay the way that God wants you to be, which is how he originally intended you, in order for you to thrive, you have to be willing to sometimes die to yourself, admit to yourself the things that you are struggling with. I've stated in one of my videos, I've, I've had mommy issues. That was my issue about my daddy. I had mommy issues. My mom modeled for me the wrong way to treat men. So yes, I have intentionally been taking steps to unlearn all of those toxic behaviors because I don't want my future husband to pay for the pain that I've endured at the hand of others. Is that really fair? Because we find ourselves in that situation because we kind of God, I can't even remember what I was going to say. I guess I don't need to say that right now. I mean, it's like gone with the wind. <laughs> I just don't Oh my gosh, I love you all. I really want to invite you. <laughs> Lord, you'd be tripping me out with me. Anyway, I just want to invite you all to like, share, subscribe. Lord have mercy. When you got a relationship with the Lord and he teach you how to have a relationship with you, you be good. Have a blessed day. Like, share, subscribe. <sighs>